Good evening, ladies and gentlemen and boys and girls. It is Kevin from Kevin's Garage. Today we're going to do something new here. We're going to do an unboxing. I am loving the uh, SCX24, so I decided that I was going to go and try out, try, or try another one so what we got here is oh we got an a main catalog yeah a couple a main stickers but here's what y'all want to see it is the charisma MSA 1E Mini Scale Adventure 1976 Ford F-150. I'm going to pull this thing out of the box and see how it compares to the, uh, the 24 here. Alright, All right, let's see what it comes with. We got a manual. Box that won't cooperate. So we got a manual. Eight pages. Hmm. So, what does the 24 come with? An SCX 24. It comes with a book. In all kinds of languages. Easy to read. Let's see. What do we got here? English. Japanese. Handful languages. Uh, what's in the box? We got a truck, controller, batteries, a charger. Tools you might need. A nail nose pliers, small screwdriver. Mm. There's your remote functions. Trims and all that stuff. It's all good to know. So, you even leave yourself notes. So, let's get this thing out of the box. Hmm. So, I picked this thing up from A-Main Hobbies. It's relatively close to the same price as the SCX24s. I think a deadbolt's $119.99, and this was $119.99. We'll see how it compares. That's it. I got a truck. A truck. It's pretty bouncy. The Jeep, wheels and tires, and uh, hub extensions, that's all that's done to it. And it doesn't bounce like that. Uh, let's see. I'm going to pull the body off it and see what it looks like underneath. It's Velcroed on. Somewhat. Alright. So, well, I'm already losing a piece of Velcro. Not a big deal. Two sided tape. A little super glue. We'll keep it on there. Alright. So, plastic body. Pretty sturdy. Velcro in the front, Velcro in the back. 
little reinforcement for the roll bar. No lights, but it's set up that, if you can see it, there's holes that you could put put LEDs in it, or lights, probably all the LEDs. See the holes in the light bar, in the pot cup, and the like light sockets. Put some decals on it, or the whole thing's a decal. It might all be a decal. All right, so moving on to the chassis. Doesn't feel like there's any kind of foams in the tires. All plastic links. And, uh, there's no screws holding them on. So they're all pop-on, ball joints. Uh, it's spring suspension. It has a nickel metal hydrate battery with 7.2 in this little compartment back here. I don't know. 7.2, 130 milliamp. So I don't know how long that'll last. I don't know what that'll give you for run time. Uh, motor's in the middle there. It's all plastic. Everything is plastic. Frame rails are plastic. You got a heat uh, heat sink on top of the engine or motor, not engine. It's electric. It's a motor. Now, let's see how to turn it off and on. If you have big fingers like me, it's going to be a problem. Buried helps if I know what I'm looking at. Yeah, zoom out. Oh, that's in. He he he. Ah, that's some directed light. Down in there is if you look at the yellow and the red and brown wire, is a switch. Where that zip tie is. Behind the shock. My camera does not want to focus on it, but it's way back in here. So I have big fingers. I have a hard time to a hard time turning this thing off and on. All right, enough of that. So size comparison. Side, size comparison. Wheelbase is about the same. Yeah, let's do it this way. If you wanted to, if you wanted to spend the money, you could put this body on a SCX24. I don't know if... If you wanted. I don't know. It's a whole lot of plastic. Not a whole lot of metal. Don't know how it's going to operate. But, uh. Move that back. I wonder if. Hmm. Might have to figure out how to remove the battery tray. And do Velcro all the way around or something to fit a let me see if I can find one real quick I have them everywhere but it's handy there's one alright so Something a little smaller than that 900. 
900 is pretty big. So, might be able to, yikes, I don't know. Oh, looks like it can. I don't know how. Yeah, and it looks like it might fit under the bed, too. Maybe. So. Alright, looks like it can fit a small lipo in there. That's a 350. I'm going to have to glue that on. But you can fit it in there if you wedge it in under the shock, shock mounts. Now, there's a problem. That's what you got for the battery that came with. And this is what is on the batteries for the SCX24s. I think I have an adapter. So we can make it work. Alright, so if you have an adapter and don't want to use the Nyham, you could use your SCX24 batteries. I'm sure it'll be okay. It's only 0.2 of a volt difference. If not, well, then time to upgrade. I could get it apart. We'd be in business. There it is. Alright. So. Enough of that. Let me see what this remote looks like. Yeah. So here's the remote. Fancy packaged in this box. Already looks inexpensive. All right, there's your remote. That's the X24, nice, nice foam grip, nice protected controls. MS, MSA. It's just hard plastic, no grip. All your controls, your on-off, steering, throttle, trims. And up top is your directions. Steering, throttle. One one's marked one, two, three. It's got three positions. So that must be, let's go to the book. Let's see. Throttle limit switch. Okay, so it's got three position throttle limit. Let's see, let's see. Throttle limit switch. Set the max forward speed of the model. In general, user will experience understeer when making a wide turn. At high speed or the throttle and steering approach is different cornering, different speed or road surface. Okay. Can't imagine that it's very fast. Um, I'm going to have to do a comparison on a nice day when I can get them all out on the, the track. Or the course, not the track, the course, the crawler course that I have built. And we'll use the stock battery, use all the stock equipment. I'll even put my Jeep back to stock if I have to, just to do a comparison. Um, I mean, the, the battery tray is nice. 
that puts a lot of weight on the on the back end not a whole lot on the front I mean everything all the links drive shafts everything everything is plastic it's got four link up front where the SCX has the well it's a three link four link three link it's got a V rod, I would call it, in the front. It's a center, one single center point, and then two connecting points, and the four link in the back. This thing also has the four link in the back. Uh, has the axle mounted, axle mounted servo. So we'll see how that works. It's got some flex. A little twist on twist to it. Let's see what do I have? Can get that much out of it. It's hard to tell with my hand in the way. Um does not look like the diff covers are removable. Looks like you have to pull the whole you'd have to pull the whole rear apart. Tires are semi semi aggressive. I think the wheel nuts are plastic. The wheels are plastic. I know the SCX 24 is ever plastic too. Um, I'll have to try, but I think maybe you can put SCX 24 wheels on it or the one inch wheels with the seven millimeter hex. So, what else we got for this thing? Remote batteries, and it's got a USB charger also. put it together and we'll have to give it a try see if we like it or not if not I might keep it keep it around as a spare for someone that doesn't have one. Oh, it also has a bumper and the front bumper also has pockets for lights so you could put LEDs on it There, eh, can't tell. Looks like there might be room in the ESC for another wire or so. I'll have to mess around with it and keep you up to date. Well, that's enough of the MSA-1 till I get a chance to take it out on the course. Thanks for tuning in. You guys have a good night, good day. Please like, please subscribe, and I can keep these videos coming. Thank you, and goodbye.